Chopping anything's head off rarely makes it more beautiful. There are some fine looking convertibles out there, but it is unusual to find one that is prettier than the coupe it is based on. The new Aston Martin DB11 Volante could be one of the notable exceptions, looking stunning from every one of the angles that the company has shared through its first release of images and information. The decision to make a Volante version of the DB11 doesn't come as a shock. Aston has used the name as shorthand for its drop-top models since 1965. But the decision to launch the DB11 Volante with the AMG-sourced V8 engine, rather than Aston's own twin-turbocharged V12, creates the sort of mild surprise that would raise one of James Bond's eyebrows. The twin-turbocharged V8 is a fine engine and works particularly well in the DB11 coupe that we recently drove. Still, it seems likely that a significant number of the buyers drawn to an Aston Martin convertible would also be the sort who'd seek to maximize their excess with the brawnier V12. Yet Aston said it has no plans to offer the bigger engine and the Volante anytime soon. If enough paying customers voice interest, however, plans have been known to change. As it is, the V8 makes for a refreshingly uncomplicated single model lineup. The Volante's mechanical package is functionally identical to that of the DB11 V8 coupe, with the same quoted power and torque peaks for the twin-turbo 4.0-liter engine, which runs an Aston-developed TCU, 503 horsepower and 498 pounds to foot, with the latter available over a broadband from 2000 to 5000 revolutions per minute. Torque is directed to the rear wheels through an 8-speed automatic gearbox the same snappy ZF sourced unit that has pretty much taken over the luxury segment. Suspension is by control arms in front and a multi-link setup at the rear, and standard electrically adaptive dampers offer GT, Sport, and Sport Plus settings. The muscular lines of the DB11's lower body are particularly well suited to the decapitation, with the car looking better proportioned with top down than the old DB9 Volante did. The power-operated fabric roof now uses eight layers of material to quell noise, and it is available in red, black, or gray. Aston says it takes just 14 seconds to lower the roof and 16 seconds to raise it, with this process possible while the car is traveling at speeds up to 31 miles per hour, even if heading directly into a headwind of the same speed. It also can be operated from outside the car using the remote key fob for maximum street theater. Durability testing for the new roof system included putting prototypes through more than 100,000 raising and lowering cycles in special weather chambers that were designed to simulate conditions in the world's harshest environments, Aston said. Good news for any Volante owners planning a top-down tour of Alaska in the winter. The aim was to compress the strain of a decade of real-world use into a one-month test period. Performance has hardly suffered. Aston claims a 4.1 second 0 to 62 mile per hour time, just a tenth of a second behind the official number for the V8 coupe and only two tenths behind the V12 DB11. Based on our recent test of the 12 cylinder coupe, we'd be surprised if we didn't record a 0 to 60 mile per hour time under 4 seconds when we get a volante to the track. The claimed top speed of 187 miles per hour is identical to that of the V8 coupe. With the first customer deliveries starting next spring, the DB11 Volante will be priced starting at $219,320, a figure that represents a reasonable $17,500 upcharge over the equivalent coupe. For a car as handsome as this one, it's a price we suspect a large percentage of DB11 buyers in the United States will be prepared to pay.
Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's can't